Olympus presents the new ORVAC smoke evacuator that is perfectly synchronized with the existing EPF1 platform. The following video will explain how to set up and use this device. Attach the power cord to the power port at the rear of the surgical smoke evacuator and then plug it into a grounded electrical outlet. The smoke evacuator will turn on and go into standby mode. The equipotential grounding connection is located right next to the power supply connection. For synchronization with the ESG or USG400, use the adapter for automatic activation. Plug the pin end of the adapter into the automatic activation device port on the rear panel of the ORVAC until it is completely inserted. The other end of the adapter for automatic activation now has to be connected to the ESG or USG400 using a separate Olympus communication cable. The link out plug of the Olympus communication cable should therefore always be used to connect it to either the ESG400 or USG400. Always use the link out plug of the Olympus communication cable to connect it to the adapter for automatic activation. Use the screws to secure it to the connection. The ORVAC can be activated by using the suction on slash standby button. The LED will indicate if the motor is activated or in standby mode. Adjust the suction level to the desired setting by pressing the motor speed control button while the surgical smoke evacuator is activated. Noise created by the surgical smoke evacuator can be minimized by selecting the lowest vacuum setting that effectively clears the operative field of surgical smoke. The filter life indicator on the control panel provides a visual indication of the status of the life of the filter in use and will automatically adjust according to the motor speed setting selected. If the service LED is active, please consult the operator's manual or contact a technician. The ORVAC is set to standby mode by pressing the suction on slash standby button again. Please note that the suction level can only be adjusted when the motor is activated. To remove the filter, please detach all accessories from the filter. To press the filter clip and remove the filter from the surgical smoke evacuator. Insert the filter into the filter chamber and ensure that the filter is installed completely against the bottom of the filter chamber and that the filter clip is fully engaged. Suction tubes of different sizes can be attached to the main filter depending on the application. Diameters of 6.4 millimeters, 9.5 millimeters, and 22 millimeters are available. Both a laparoscopic and open tube may be attached to the 22 millimeter port. A fluid trap can protect the main filter in case the fluid has been aspirated. It may also be used for open surgery and is attached to the suction tube first then connect it to the 22 millimeter port of the main filter. The suction tube for open surgery is equipped with a guard at the distal tip in order to avoid aspiration of objects. If no fluid trap is used, simply connect the tube to the 22 millimeter main filter port. For laparoscopic application, a special laparoscopic suction tube is needed. Please connect it to the main filter in the same way. A fluid trap is not needed. Connect the patient side of the laparoscopic suction tube to the trocar by using the lure connection. Don't forget to open the trocar's valve. After successfully connecting all components, the OR vac is synchronized to the ESG and USG 400 and is now automatically activated when a device is activated. After the energy output has been stopped, the OR vac continues suction for a further two seconds in order to remove any remaining smoke. The OR vac goes into standby mode again. The ORVAC can be completely switched off by disconnecting the power cord. This is the new ORVAC Surgical Smoke Evacuator.